Okay, now let's look into example 2. Right, so determine the absolute maximum bending stress in a beam and draw the stress distribution over the cross section at this location. Right, so as we can see here, this is a simply supported beam. Right, with the UDL of 5 kN per meter. Okay, and it is sitting on a beam, on a simply supported beam okay, with the length of 6 meters. Right, so what we have to do first okay, in order to determine the value of the stresses okay, is to determine the value of the maximum moment. And since we have a simple beam okay, with only UDL, right, so therefore the moment maximum can be calculated using this equation. Right? So this is a typical equation for a beam under UDL, okay, whereas we have moment maximum equals to WL square over 8. Right? So the value here is 22.5 kN per meter. Right, so and since we have a beam that is subjected to the UDL that is acting downwards, right, so therefore this value of the bending moment is actually a value of a uh, positive bending moment. Right, so even though it is drawn, okay, the bending moment diagram is drawn upwards, okay, however, okay, the value is actually a positive value, okay, only that it is drawn upwards, okay, taking the positive bending moment on top. Right, so the cross section okay, of this beam okay, is given on our right, okay, whereas we have an I beam as well. Right, so similar to example one, only that here um, the dimensions are different. Okay, however, it is still a symmetrical beam okay, that is symmetrical in the horizontal and also vertical direction. Okay, right, so based on this cross section, okay, we can calculate the moment of inertia for the section. Okay, whereas we can use this equation, right? So instead of using the equation that is shown in example 2, okay, where we are uh, using the uh, total okay, area of the beam, okay, divide, uh, then uh, minus with the area of the uh, uh, void here, right? So we can also use this equation, right? So we can use this equation in order to calculate the uh, value of the moment of inertia. And if we have uh, a beam, okay, a cross section that is uh, unsymmetrical, right? So therefore, this is the equation that we have to use, right? As what I have mentioned to you earlier in the previous example. Okay, so now next we move on to the uh, calculation process, okay, whereas we are going to calculate for the bending stress, right? So first thing uh, that we have to do, okay, is that we have to calculate the bending uh, the maximum bending stress, right? So the maximum bending stress can be calculated okay, by using the value of the uh, bending moment, okay, which is the maximum bending moment okay, that we have already calculated earlier, okay, as well as using the centroid, right? So since we have a symmetrical arrangement of uh, a section, right? So therefore, okay, we are going to divide the section or the height of the section by 2. Right, okay, so therefore we have uh, the value k okay, of uh, 0 0.17, right? So if we refer back okay, to the section, right? So we know that here, okay, for each segment, okay, we are going to have 170 mm height, right? So that would be the value of y that we are going to use for the sigma maximum value. Okay, so we move on. Okay, to the calculation of the bending stress, right? So this is the y value, right? K, okay, uh, which is mentioned as c, k okay, in this calculation, right? So we have twenty two point five times with ten to the power of three, which is the bending moment. Okay, then we have zero point one seven, k okay, divided by three o one point three times with ten to the power of negative six, right? So we have a total of maximum bending stress of twelve point seven MPa. Right. So this value of maximum stress is similar for the top and also bottom of the beam. Right. So we are going to have the positive and also negative uh, bending stress. Right. So as for this uh, question, right. So if we go back to the question, right, we can see that we are required to draw okay, the stress distribution okay, of over the cross section. Right. So we are required to determine the stress distribution. Right, so the stress distribution means that we are going to have okay, to determine the stress for each and every uh, portion okay, of this beam. Right? So from the top okay, until the bottom of our section. And since okay, we are having a, um, 
and I section. Okay, whereas we have the flange section. Okay, as well as the web section. Okay, so therefore we are going to have a variety. Okay, in the value of the uh, bending stress, right? Okay, especially okay at these points, right? So as you can see here, it has been marked okay as a uh, point B. Okay, point C, okay, which is directly on the uh, centroid, okay, as well as the point D, right? Okay, so we are going to have uh, different values, okay, for each and every uh, section, okay, only that as for the sigma maximum, okay, that we have already determined just now, so that is the value, okay, that we have obtained, okay, for the top of flange, right? So sigma maximum, okay, happens right on top of the flange, okay, on the top part, as well as for this section, okay, so this is also covering sigma maximum, right, which is at the bottom flange, right. So we have two similar values, okay, of sigma maximum, okay, for the top and also bottom part of the dip. Okay, so next we move on, okay, to the, uh, another point, okay, whereas we wanted to determine, okay, the value of the bending stress at point B. Okay, whereas we have the changes okay, in view of the dimension, right? So if we can draw here, right? So we have an I section, okay? So we have the flange section, okay? As well as the web section, right? So we have the change, okay? We have changes in view of the uh, flange, okay? And also the web, right? So we have the flange on top here. Okay, and we have the web at the bottom here, right? And point B is located here, right? Okay, so we are going to determine, okay, the value, okay, of the uh, stresses, okay, at that point B, right? Okay, so here, okay, we are going to calculate, right? So as you can see here, the value of the bending moment is similar, okay? Whereas the value is 22.5, okay, times with 10 to the power of uh, 3, right? So that is the bending moment for the section, right? Then you can see here that we have this negative sign, right? So why do we have this negative sign? Okay, it is because point B is located on top of the beam and we know that this beam, okay, which is a simply supported beam is bending downwards, right? So therefore, okay, when our beam bends downwards, okay, so, uh, it will look like this, right? So, it will behave uh, in this way, okay? And the top part will be subjected to compression, okay? And the bottom part, okay, will be subjected to tension with the centroid, okay, of the section, okay, or the neutral axis of the section in the middle, okay? Right, so therefore, you can see here, okay, when the section is subjected to compression, Therefore, the bending stress will be negative, right? And if it is subjected to tension, therefore, the bending stress will be positive, right? So, therefore, as for the top part, K, which is the point B, right? So, this is where K, we have the value of the bending stress of negative value, right? So, that is why we have this negative sign, right? Okay, so you have to understand this, K, depending on the location of your um, uh, bending stress. Okay, right. So we have the moment. Okay, so similar moment values only that we have the negative sign. Okay, then we have YB. Right. So YB. Okay, will be the distance. Okay, that has to be calculated from the centroid. Okay, to the point where we wanted to determine the uh, value of the bending stress. Right. So if we look back. Okay, to the figure. Okay or the cross-section of our beam. Okay, so therefore, the 0 0.15 value, okay, is actually determined from this dimension, right? So, it is calculated, okay, from this point, okay, which is the neutral axis, right? So, we can see this uh, green line, okay, as the neutral axis. So, it is calculated or measured, okay, to the point B. Right, so that is point B, okay, at, that is uh, at the bottom of the flange, right? So therefore, okay, this value will be uh, 150 mm, right? So this is the value of YB.
Okay, right? So that is YB. So that is the value that will be substituted into the uh, equation, right? So YB is 0 0.15, okay? Then divided by I, okay, which is the moment of inertia for the section. So no changes has to be made to the value of the moment of inertia, right? So therefore here, okay, we are going to have the value at point uh, B, K is equals to negative 11.2 MPA, which is under compression, right? So that is for the uh, uh, value of the bending stress, right? So therefore, we can draw the stress distribution, K okay, that looks like this, right? So you can either uh, draw, K okay, the uh, a stress block, K okay, or stress distribution, K okay, that looks like this, or you can also draw, K okay, something that looks like this, right? So we have a negative... Uh, value of the bending stresses on top, right? Okay, so you can draw it like this. Okay, whereas we have the negative uh, value, okay, on our left and also a positive value on our right, right? So we are in the uh, concept of stress, okay, we are considering that the stresses are in linear distribution, right? So therefore, okay, we are going to have only straight lines, okay, so the top part is negative and the bottom part is positive right so as for the values right so you can write here okay, i delete this a bit right okay so we are going to have okay, the uh, top part right so the maximum stress here is 12.7 mpa right so that is on this point okay then when we have the value of the uh, point B, right? So point B is located approximately here, right? So this is point B, right? So therefore, as for point B, okay, we are going to have the value okay, of 11.2 okay, MPA, right? So these values are actually negative values, right? So I'm not writing the negative there, okay, because we already know from the figure, okay, that it is a negative uh, stress, okay? Then as for the positive value, Right, so for the maximum value of the uh, stresses, okay, we have 12.7 MPA, okay, which is at the right at the bottom of the section. Right, so that is the positive value of the uh, maximum bending stress. Right, so we have sigma maximum okay, in compression okay, and also we have sigma maximum okay, in tension okay right so this is the uh, figure okay whereas we can draw okay the stress distribution okay for the whole section so actually similarly okay for the positive bending moment uh, for positive bending stress sorry right so for the uh, at the bottom here okay we are going to also have the value that is for the uh, point okay whereas we have the changes between the a web and also the flange, right? So we are going to have a positive value of 11.2 MPA, okay, at the bottom part of the 